brothers and sisters, my mother and I had uh, dreams about the rapture happening very soon and we've also had some confirmation about it and so I just wanted to share that with everybody because the time is drawing very very close. I'll just share quickly what my mom dreamt. Um, she doesn't remember how the dream started but uh, she does remember just before waking up uh, in the dream she saw someone or something was holding um a blackboard she thought that maybe it was an angel that held a blackboard and she said that she also felt a very strong presence of the lord and um on the blackboard it was written in big uh, yellow letters um it said start the countdown or count the countdown something like that but she said it was something like start the countdown and it was written in big yellow letters and she basically woke up from that dream um afterwards and th this was a couple of days ago uh i can't really remember how many days ago but um not too long ago and then last night i um I was before I went to bed I was just watching some videos on YouTube and then I just said my prayers and then uh my um I said my prayers and then I went to 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 bed like I I I fell asleep and I really wasn't thinking of anything I wasn't thinking of the rapture I wasn't thinking of anything really I just I I fell asleep and um I um I dreamt in my dream I dreamt that um well actually there was a lot of things happening in my dream but I'll share the important part um and in my dream I were my mom was in the kitchen she was uh chopping some vegetables cuz she was cooking and then I just walked into the kitchen and she said to me we're going home and i mean like and i said um do you mean the rapture and she she's like yes we're going home very soon and i thought well i already know that so you know and she's like no i'm serious we're going home very very soon and she said that she had gotten a confirmation from someone that or someone or something i just can't remember that we are going home very soon and it's a matter of days that's what she said to me she said it's a matter of days we don't have time left it's a matter of days how many days i really don't know and then suddenly i felt such a strong 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 presence of the lord all over me all around me and as if the lord was saying i agree with her i agree with her and as if the lord was confirming to me that what she was saying is right that it's a matter of of days and um my heart just kind of dropped and i just started getting very nervous and i immediately thought of a, f a dear friend of mine um uh, she is working in another city and i thought oh my goodness she's all alone in that city like she doesn't have any like close family members that are around there she's all by herself she moved there by herself to to work so i thought oh no what when the rapture takes place um there's going to be so much chaos and disruption that she's going to be scared all by herself i mean her job is not even going to matter anymore and i know how excited she is about her her new job but it's not even going to matter anymore when things are out of control when things are starting to happen and then um i thought should i quickly text her and tell her um that the rapture is going to happen soon and that maybe she needs to move back home and then i felt um as if she she already knows you know like i've spoken to her about the rapture i've spoken to her 
a lot of times about the end times. She knows everything, and she's also seen the movies as well. Not that the movies um, explain everything in detail, but she knows about the end times. And there's n nothing much I could do, really. There's n there's nothing that I can do, and so. I felt as if that maybe the Lord was comforting me and saying she's going to be all right. Her father is going to go and look for her and search for her and they will find her and they will take her back home. She's going to be all right. But there's not much that I can do in terms of telling her what to do because at the end of the day, it is her life and it is her relationship with the Lord and is it is her decision what she will do. So, and yeah, so the, um, that was in the dream. Like I was thinking all of this in the dream and I felt comforted by the Lord that she's going to be okay. And then, um, yeah, my mom kept saying in a matter of days, in a matter of days. And then I kept seeing the date of 7 March, but then I thought, okay, it's the 11th of March. I mean, the 7 March has already passed and I know that it's not talking about 2020 like March 7th 2020 because I felt the urgency was so strong that this year something big is going to take place and it cannot be next year and my mother in the dream kept emphasizing that it's in a matter of days it's in a matter of days so uh yeah, I think um, that's it. Then I woke up from that dream. And then um, I thought to myself, wait, does this mean that my dear friend is going to get left behind? And then I was just praying and hoping that that won't eventually be the case um, in real life. And then... I also remembered the dream that my mother had told me about seeing the blackboard that was written in yellow saying start the countdown and then I felt as if this dream that I had just had was a confirmation of her dream. Literally I felt that that was a confirmation right there of her dream and I never even, I never asked uh, for this dream, um, I wasn't thinking of the rapture at all that night and you know, so it, it must have been a confirmation um, for her dream as well. And so um, this dream was also a comfort for me because I, I'm just getting tired. Like everybody else, I, I am getting tired of waiting for the Lord to come. But I'm trying to be faithful and trying to endure until the end so i think it was also a comfort for me that i should get ready i should get ready because it's very very close and everybody should get ready because it's very very close also another confirmation that i had was from um this really beautiful lady from australia genevieve uh brazel or brazen something like that and her and her daughters usually get visions and um, word from the Lord. And she she said um, in one of her videos that she saw the, the, the doors shutting. Like the Lord is closing the doors. And one of her other dreams, she also explained that um, she saw the number 11 and 5. And she... Um, when she said 11 plus 5, it gave her 16. And um, from the day that she had the, the dream, um, she counted 16 days and it ended on the, I think, 20, 21st of March, which is the day of the supermoon, right? And also she got a confirmation when her daughter was using a calculator and the calculator fell on the floor. And when they picked it up, the calculator said 8-8. Eight, eight. And when she added 8-8, eight, eight, it was 16. And that was her confirmation of the number 16 and 16, counting 16 days. So um, also when I woke up from the dream, I also immediately remembered if the Lord is saying this is, is a matter of days, um, and the supermoon is happening in a matter of days. And I remembered the date of the supermoon, which is um, 20, 
and it's, I think it's 21st, 2021st of March. So I thought um, this is very important. Uh, I feel the supermoon is very important because it also marks the 400th year since the slave trade started. Um, so the true Hebrew people have been in America for 400 years. And in the um, book of ja uh, Jasher, um, it is written, this book was taken out of the Bible. And it is written that the, um, or the Hebrew people in Egypt were only slaves for about... Um, were only in Egypt for about 200 and something years, but then they were only treated as slaves for about 110 years or 120 years, somewhere there. Um, so really the only 400 years that makes sense is from 1619 to 2019. And this supermoon is really significant. I also, I when I woke up from that dream, I randomly picked a scripture verse and I landed on Mark um, uh, Mark 9 verse 2 to 10 and this was, speaks of the Mount of Transfiguration and it was explaining that, um, I mean, it, it's basically talking about uh, what happened obviously when uh, Peter, John and James saw Jesus you know uh transfigurate if that's the right word and that was a confirmation to me because i related that with the rapture taking place like when jesus um like it says here that um in verse three that his clothes became dazzling white whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them and that to me that to me reminded me of how we're going to get beautiful pure white garments uh, when we have been raptured or taken to a safe place um, because I know that um, the 144,000 will be taken to the safe place so I'm really not sure if maybe the Lord was telling me we're going to be taken to a safe place or we're going to be taken to heaven i'm not a hundred percent hundred percent sure about that also i just quickly want to put out a disclaimer that i'm not saying that march 2021st will be the day of the rapture but the day of the supermoon is very significant and also is the start of the 400th year um and also um, this year is very prophetic and something is going to happen this year. I just, I cannot say whether it's the rapture or what, but something is definitely going to happen this year. Something big is going to happen. I cannot promise if it will be the rapture or not. Also, um, the uh, verse 7 of Mark 9 says, Then a cloud appeared and enveloped, enveloped them and a voice came from the cloud um this is my son whom i love listen to him so the cloud represents god and when jesus comes down he's going to come in a great big cloud and he's going to come and take his people and he's going to envelope us he's going to take us um away to heaven and um i'm just looking here to see what else is written um and also verse 10, 9 to 10 says, As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. They kept the matter to themselves, discussing what rising from the dead meant. Rising from the dead is the resurrection, and on the day of the rapture, people will be resurrected. Um, I could go into detail with this um with these scriptures but i am running out of time and i just wanted to thank everybody for listening please stay ready and god bless you all i hope to see you all very very soon love you guys